Welcome to Happiness Matters Podcast Edition. I'm Goddess Valentina, the healing goddess. I have a passion and a quest to help anyone whose heart is open to receive enlightenment, love, and just a heartfelt message. I will continue to add to the universe with light and inspiration for the people. My mantra is when you feel better, you do better. Today, today's message is monitoring negative thoughts. If I get right to the point of monitoring negative thoughts, thoughts have energy. What you think about, you bring about, and you are about. Negative thoughts bring negative outcomes. We have to really learn to shift those thoughts to become neutral or make them positive. Meditation was the first tool that I used to assist in monitoring my negative thoughts. And the next tool that helped was fasting. Meditation, you're able to quiet your mind. And I just had all these thoughts racing and it took sometimes 30 minutes to 45 minutes for, for me to even try to calm down my mind without using any kind of music. Monitoring negative thoughts is a practice that we must do daily for the rest of our lives. In time, you won't have to monitor so much because you will change and slow down those thoughts. You will see them and they'll just poof, go away. They will not consume you. We are, we are of energy. So your negative thoughts radiate through you. And people can feel it. Even if you're not saying anything, you're giving off a low vibrational vibe with your thoughts. So we can ask for gratitude. We can ask for forgiveness. You know, please help me with my negative thoughts. Please forgive me of all the negative things I've been thinking. If you really want to go further, a little deeper, <clears throat> you can start journaling some negative thoughts that you've had. When you become conscious of this temple that you're in and what you're doing, you're the driver of all of this. You're not a victim. You are the driver. If you picture a jockey on a horse, if you picture a wild stallion, stallion just running wild and the jockey is hanging on for dear life, that's how you are being unconscious. Being conscious is the jockey who's able to tame and ride that horse. You are in control of everything. Outside is not in control of you. In order to begin to really have some happiness in your life and to raise your positive energy, monitor your negative thoughts is number one on the top of the scale. Where do they come from? This, these thoughts are coming from you. They're coming deep within you. So where is this, this ugliness growing from? Where did it come from? And why do you have this? These are the questions that you have to think for yourself. I knew where my negative thoughts came from. And I had to work really hard to fix that. It's people need peace. <laughs> There's a lot of hurting people. To me, I call them the walking zombies, people walking unconsciously and just hurting and infecting and hurting and infecting and hurting. Innocent victims being hurt left and right. Monitoring your negative thoughts would be a fight to the cause. <laughs> to work positively within yourself. You're having a human experience. Not everything is positive. Absolutely. 
but you could just look at something and know that you don't agree with it. And that's okay, but you don't have to be negative about it. You don't need to bring a negative tone to it. Have you ever seen some of these old ancient, uh, not ancient, but like movies of um, a Zen master and the student is constantly asking questions and talking and the Zen master just looks at them, maybe even nods their head or hardly says just one or two words and then walks away and the student's like, huh? <laughs> That's what we need to get to. You see something that's a hot mess, you know it's a hot mess. We all know it's a hot mess, but we don't need to feed into it. It's just, it's just an image that has come before us and it will leave us. <laughs> uh, we just have to really, first in the beginning, you know, if you don't want to say positive things, I get it. You don't have to. It's all about being authentic to self. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, don't say anything at all. And just walk away. Or if you can't walk away, find something, find words that are neutral. If somebody has negative thoughts towards you and says something like, <clears throat> oh, this person is so dramatic, or this person is drama, or this person is crazy. You have every right to rebel and say, I rebuke, I reject what you've just said. I don't agree with what you just said. The other person may not even care, but it's important that you honor your subconscious, that you honor your body, that you honor the temple that you're in and that you let no negativity come towards you, nor do you spew out it. Remember, everything is a balancing system in this universe. What you think about, you'll bring about. So if you're thinking negativity, you're going to have ne people that are negative towards you. And that's just how it works. And it just brews more and more and more until it's an explosion. We shouldn't even have to get to that. Find some love in your heart and to work on cleansing your heart. Anything that brings you joy, peacefulness, music, animals, children, poetry, song, dance, arts, exercise, peaceful quietness, whatever it is, find a way to connect to that center. That joy, that of something that you love, that you enjoy doing. Um, kind of think of that. You always need some type of focus point when you're in transition, when you're learning how to do these new practices in your life. They're going to be very helpful very helpful tools to help you ascend higher. To me, I feel that life is is like, I always revert to Donkey Kong because I was pretty good at that game. And there's, of course, in every game, there's different levels, right? So the goal is to continue to move from one level to the next. After you've mastered these tools, then eventually you'll ascend. Naturally, you'll ascend up and then you'll go into another level. And you're constantly evolving and healing and growing and learning who you are, why are you having these experiences, what am I bringing into my life by my thoughts by my words, by my actions. It's just not just happening. You're bringing this to you. If you're miserable at work, you're going to get more misery, misery at work. It's hard to take something that you don't like and to shift it. 
But you can say, if you're not happy at work, for instance, you can say, you know what? I'm tired of complaining about work every day. This makes me miserable and I don't like it. Okay, what can I do about it? How can I position myself to get into something that I like? What do I like? What is something that's reasonable for me to do? Am I able to leave this job in a few months? What skills do I need to acquire? Is there any free programming? Is there programming on the weekends or after work? When you come up with that type of thinking, instead of being the victim, you're the warrior and gladiator of yourself. So when you're thinking this way, and you start to look at different opportunities, doors open. You get it? Doors open. I've heard the most, I've heard people that speak beautiful religious scripture and are the most negative people on the face of this planet. I just, it boggles my mind. How can you use these words and still have negativity? We need to continue to work on ourselves constantly and be patient with ourselves and know that we're just having a human experience and it's okay, but it's not okay to stay negative. That's not okay. It's okay to have a negative moment, catch it and release it. That's the most important thing. And if you need healing in a certain area and it's just too difficult, there are just so many different options out there. But to me, I think that I love the challenge for me personally of really working, hearing good information and really working on myself. And this is what this channel is about, trying to give you just small things that you can target and zoom in on. Negative thoughts is something hard to work on, but with more joy and more insight into what you're doing. Think about what's coming out of your mouth. Why are you saying these things? What is this inside of me? Because if it's coming out of your mouth, coming from your thoughts, this stuff is coming from your heart. Maybe you've gotten burned in the past. Maybe people have been shady. It's good to know the characteristics of people. But what are your characteristics? Are you feeding into the story? Are you continuously putting yourself in that situation? Or, okay, I know this person is, has a low moral compass. Okay. I know how to deal with them. I will not be a victim to them. I will not play into their, their snakish pit that they quiver in. But I will stand in my own, my own space as a victorious person and monitor what I'm doing. And if I am contributing to the madness... People are very, you're affected. Yeah, I wear crystals. For instance, at work, in my job, there was this girl. She sat on the side of me to the left. Her energy was so negative, and I don't know what she was into, but she definitely didn't like me because I was too positive. And I used to get sick at work, and I used to be frustrated. I wanted my seat moved and everything. I was just like, why do I got to come to work every day and see this person? Why does my life have to be consumed with this? I said, you know what? No, stop being the victim here. And what I did was I did some research, started reading, and I used to, I bought a necklace, a necklace, and it had a small mirror pendant on it. And then I put mirrors a handful, not a lot, I wasn't extreme, but I had a handful of mirrors, pretty decorative mirrors around my cube that were all reflecting back to her. Why should I get sick from her energy? 
and the other lady too. She began to feel her own energy. And it was very uncomfortable for her as well. Be the, be the Victorian. I was victorious because I started to feel better in my space. I'm not saying to cause harm, no. But I just had to reflect that back. I couldn't keep absorbing that. I will not absorb that. We have tools on this universe. We have crystals. We have beautiful light words from sacred texts from all over the world. We have cleansing incense and we have prayers, meditation. We have so much stuff that we can use out here. I'm not saying to put mirrors everywhere you go, but that was just an example of me back then as a little healing goddess <laughs> just learning how to be in this world with all of these different energies would I handle things differently? yes I would this time I would probably have I work at home right now thank goodness but um, if I was back in the office I would definitely have some sea salt Himalaya sea salt I would have definitely crystals I would number one top dog black tourmaline black tourmaline would be at my desk because it re, it re, it uh, removes negative energy and it transmits positive energy so it's a win-win so I would definitely have black tourmaline probably around my desk um, I would have some maybe some camphor too and some water I would. I would have some of my, my energy protective tools with me at work. Not too dramatic. Can't be too dramatic because people start getting nervous and stuff in the office. But you need to always protect yourself. And if it's going to help you not have negative thoughts and help you in your ascension, then that's what it matters. But you're trying never to cause any harm. Can't do that because harm will come back to you. The end of this story was she, I moved on to bigger and better things, thank goodness. <laughs> and she wrecked herself by being in her own negativity. And the vice president that praised her and supported her, she turned on the vice president and um, made some reports and the vice president at the end got her and they terminated her from work. Um, she was a force within herself. But that's how you, you can wreck your own self. You as a person with negative thoughts can destroy yourself by bringing all of that to you. So something to really, really think about negative thoughts and the damage and destruction it can do. I used to be... Um, I'm not going to say the queen of gossip, but people used to tell me a lot of stuff. I used to know a lot of stuff. And as I started to pull away from that, people still, that was still branded on me. Talk, you know, she's nice, but she's gossip. Took three years to cleanse that from me. And, you know, as I'm working on ascending and all these things, I want to be, you know, I forgot that I was like that, you know, but other people don't. And now I have, by me ascending, I have a new, beautiful group of people. Those old behaviors are no longer. And I'm working in a very loving, healthy, supportive environment. And... My old behaviors have been washed away, but it took three years of the damage that I have done to myself being unconscious. And gossiping is negative. Critical is negative. Pessimistic is not the most positive way to be. You can have a pessimistic moment, but you need to clear it with gratitude, thankfulness, and purification. You know, um, lies and lies are negative. Um, being mean, attitude, sassiness, negative. 
there are some characteristics that could be part of a personality, but you have to ensure to, to smooth the rough edges and to always, when in your presence, whatever that is, people shouldn't be shocked with any kind of negative energy. People can feel shocked where they just don't want to be around you or they move to the next room. Or your kids don't want to be around you. The house just feels like negative. Negativity is like a huge magnet that that draws everything to you. Just like positivity. If you're positive, people will call you for some positive insight. But you got to make sure people don't vomit in your ear. You got to set that precedent too. Because when you hear too much negativity, it can absorb you and take you out. So you got to be also mindful. You know, the monkeys hear no evil, see no evil, say no evil. Those monkeys are so great. I have those monkeys. <laughs> we have them on our, if you have the WhatsApp messenger, they have the monkeys. Maybe in some other messengers too. But I hope this has been helpful. Trying to give you some different ideas and some life stories, you know, about monitoring your negative thoughts. Anyway, take the journey, try it. When a thought comes into your head saying, why am I saying this? Why am I thinking this? Yuck. <laughs> Please forgive me. Help cleanse me. Help me see through the eyes of love. Wash my eyes. Yeah, wash my eyes. Cleanse me of the ugliness that I see, the ugliness I'm thinking, and the ugliness I'm feeling. Help me have a smooth energy vibration. The best people to tell you, the universe. The universe will, is the wonderful report card. People, when you start making changes in your life, strangers will notice you. Different people will start talking to you. And children always can tell you where you are. They don't lie. Those little babies, they're pure, 100% pure, unadulterate love energy. And if there's something about you, they can feel it. And they know it. So let's, let's work on being more conscious of who we are as people, and what we need to do. You know, so I hope this message was inspiring, uplifting, enlightening. And uh, monitor your negative thoughts. And you'll see in time, your life will turn around. You know, um, the more negative stuff you've done, as you ascend higher, um, it will take you a while to cleanse and to cleanse that from you. Um, and for people to really become a believer that you've changed. And within time as you change, you'll have a new circle of friends and people and those scars will eventually leave you. Anyway, this is Goddess Valentina, the healing goddess. And thank you again for coming to Happiness Matters, the podcast edition. I do have healing tools. I have SD shop, Happy, Happiness Matters 88. Um, you can search for me and I'll be there. Um, I have wonderful tools um, for cleansing and purification, recalibration, rejuvenation, um, anything to help, you know, get you on the path to, to your ascension, to where you want to be and what you want to do in your life. Anyway, have a blessed day, divine blessings. And you know what? The rainbow is a very healing tool. It's a promise, but it's also healing the lights. So I like to say, sending you healing light of the rainbow. See ya.